U.S. broke, we broke our promise, or NATO broke our their promise to Russia. So when we let Russia, uh, Ger Germany get back together, one of the promises made was that we wouldn't expand NATO. Well, we've been expanding NATO like freaking crazy, right? So beginning in the mid-90s, Poland, Hungary, the Czech Republic, the Baltic states, and others were granted NATO membership, blatantly violating the non-expansion arrangement. And while Russian leaders objected to these moves, it wasn't until talk turned to bringing Ukraine and Georgia into NATO that Russia began to act in response and to shore up its influence over these strategically critical neighbor states. So again, I just want to impress upon you, imagine if Russia had did this to, in Mexico and they overthrew a government, they installed a Russian puppet government uh, while arming neo-Nazi paramilitaries who threatened war with the United States. Would the U.S. be moving troops closer to the Mexican border, be considered an act of, act of aggression or a, a provocative act in that case? Because that's exactly what we're doing there. We overthrew Ukraine, and we're now arming neo-Nazis. So here we go. Uh, and let's not forget that in addition to annexing in Crimea, Putin also invaded and overthrew the governments of Iraq and Afghanistan, leading to the deaths of hundreds of thousands of people and is still waging a dirty war in Syria while legal, legally occupying one third of that country. Oh, no, that's not Putin. That's the United States. <laughs> uh. So here, America's uh, Ukraine hypocrisy. What is the hum Ukraine hypocrisy? Well, Ukraine during the Euro Maiden revolution, Maiden, however you say that, of 2014, the Obama administration and other war hawks in Washington flagrantly interfered in the internal politics of Ukraine, doing whatever they could to help overthrow the elected president, Viktor Yanukovych, and replace him with U.S. puppets. And now here we are. Neo-Nazis in the far right are on the march in Ukraine. And what are we doing? We're helping them. And Biden ways deploying thousands of troops to Eastern Europe and the Baltics. That's so I just want to show you just the level of hypocrisy that's happening here with the U.S. and their stated goals and what's happening, because this is Antony Blinken and he's the secretary of state. And he said, we've made very clear that one country trying to tell another what its choices should be, including with whom it associates. That's not an acceptable proposition. Changing the borders of another country by force, that's not an acceptable proposition, because what that does is it undermines the entire international system, the rules based order that we have invested in. This is hard to get through without laughing. We've been living. We've been invested in. We've been living by the orders, the rules based orders that the United States have been invested in and living by. And we think have done much to promote peace and security. And so if those basic principles go challenged and are allowed to happen with impunity, that's going to undermine the entire system. Now, that's just funny. You know, it's come on. <laughs> we invade every country we can. We've been doing it like nuts. Look what we're doing with Iran. U.S. seizes Iranian fuel from tankers bound for Venezuela. And here's a, where's the Ukraine? 84% of Americans don't know where Ukraine even is. And so when you don't, when 84% of Americans don't know where a country is, they're more likely to want to invade it. They're more likely to want to send arms there. They're more likely, the less, here it is, the less Americans know about Ukraine's location, the more they want U.S. to intervene.